Good afternoon and a warm welcome to everyone. And uh, this fireside chat was supposed to be moderated by Dr. Anurag Patra, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that I am not going to match his energy, his charm, and his enthusiasm. And another challenge is to hold a session post lunch. But I'm sure uh, Samir can manage and ride us through. Uh, Samir, uh, Hello. Yeah, hi. Samir, you are building a brand uh, in the cycle industry uh, with a larger aim of sustainability and making the planet healthy. And you have recently worked with uh, Sarah Ali Khan and launched a TV serial as well, a TV uh, a commercial as well. So there are a lot of questions are there in my mind. And my first question to you is, how crucial is it for uh, digital marketing for, for a brand like Riders? In today's time, digital branding for Riders is very, very important because we are fortunate to have a uh, digital way of marketing where we can reach out pan India in a short span of time. And we are fortunate and we are trying to do that. And reach every corner out there in India, whether it's tier 2, tier 3, and be out there as a new age cycle brand. So how do you plan to leverage e-commerce to, to scale up your business and to expand uh, your reach in tier 1, tier 2 and rural India? Honestly, e-commerce uh, is not a big platform for bicycles, but because thanks to the lockdown that we were able to get that added advantage and the youth is on social media and e-commerce. So the sales of Online sales has increased, uh, it's given a boost and uh, we, we look forward that it will be better and the growth is there, for sure. So in the market, I mean, I can, we can see a lot of high-end uh, bikes are there, they're mounted by the traditional one, women and kids. So entire uh, uh, cycle market is in a fragmented and kind of complex. How difficult is uh, to, to gather quality data and get consumer insights? So like uh, earlier there was no online sales, marketing, it was all offline. Gathering data was difficult then. But now online platforms, digital marketing helps us to collect data and be, be more precise with the, say, with the ads that we run. We get an instant feedback whether it's working well or it's not doing well. So there are a lot of changes we can do and it's the help of social media. So, according to industry estimates, uh, the niche uh, cycle market share is around 5-7% to 7 in a, and I suppose that uh, the consumers in that segment are mostly young, affluent and uh, most of the time they don't like advertisements and they often disable the ads as well. So, how challenging is it for you to tap those consumers digitally? So, so the people who don't see ads and who skip ads uh, for next year we've planned, so people who don't see ads, we have word of mouth, we have cycle uh, enthusiasts and cycle gurus, you can say, who talk about the brand, they can talk about our brands, check out our bikes and give a review, so we can learn from that and, you know, improvise and they can say what, what lacks and what's good about it. So any new trends, upcoming trends which you see in 2023? In 2023, for online, you asked for online yeah, marketing. Digital. digital marketing, we, as you said now, that people skip ads. So for YouTube, we've made shorter clips, uh, which in six seconds we'll, con we'll convey our message of our brand in those six seconds. Six so seconds are enough? Yeah, yeah that's going to happen next year in January. <laughs> Very interesting points you made. Uh, thank you so much, Samir.